What's going on YouTube? This is John with L Explorer. Today we're going to be looking at the Pro Speed side accessory plate. Now this plate is a is a high strength steel. It comes with a zinc coating and is also coated with a black textured powder coat to prevent corrosion. So now this plate is perfect. Say you have that rooftop tent up there and you, you're running out of space to, to add in fuel or water. So with a side accessory plate, all you have to do is you can mount two roto packs, two or four gallons, or you can do the 3.8 gallon water port. Now there's other options too. So like for me, I have a water heater and I'm thinking with inside a Pelican case and I'm thinking about mounting that when I get to camp that I could mount my shower right there and then have my, my shower room and just be able to, to take a shower without having to set up that Pelican case on a table or, or someplace else. What's included in the box is an upper plate, the lower plate, which is specific to your vehicle design, suction cups, along with the hardware that uh, to mount the plates. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go outside. I have quick fists that are in the area where I want to mount this plate. We'll take off those quick fists, we'll mount it to the upper plate, and uh, we'll mount the rest, or I, uh, we'll mount the rest of the plate to the 100 series Land Cruiser. Next, prep the area before you put the plate on. Now it's always a good idea to check and just do a little test fit, see how it's going to fit. And see where you want to put the suction cups at. And see where all the brackets might sit, right? So you may have watched my, my first episode when I installed, or not my first episode, but you may have watched the episode where I, I put together the roof rack. And one of the steps was to use uh, anti seize on each one of the screws. You have a steel screw going into aluminum extrusion and you may want to pull that apart at some point. So right now I was just, I'm proud of myself because I did it and uh, it's pretty easy to unscrew this. There's no corrosion or, uh, I believe it's called electrolysis. I don't know, I have to figure that out. I think it's electrolysis. <laughs> so it's not electrolysis, it's called galvanic corrosion. Basically it just corrodes together. It does, it doesn't, it's a non-fit. So I use an anti-seize it's like a copper anti seize. I put it on there and it obviously you can see it came out fine. So let's take out this other one here. That thread's looking pretty good. Amber Ale, Mike Hess Brewery. So what I'm doing is I'm putting in little two by fours underneath just so that they don't fall and then I can locate them again. <clears throat> Cause you have to take these all out in order to put that top plate on. 
And then what I did here is I added in the, the suction cups. So I didn't do it at the very bottom row, but I did it one row up ahead. You'll notice that on these, compared to some of the competitors, that there's actually more holes. And my gut feeling is that some of the competitors, they don't have as many holes because it really costs a lot of money to punch out all these holes. So a ton of mounting options everywhere. Look at all these slots. You have Molly slots all the way around. Plus, these are all mounting slots for, for screws. So let's get this mounted up here and see what we can do. We got one in. So this right here is a is the uh, antacees. Just recoat that again. Now ProSpeed offers this rear side accessory plate for the 100 series Land Cruiser, the GX460, the GX470, the first generation Sequoia, and the fourth and fifth generation 4Runner. Make sure you keep all these loose. You keep these top loose, you keep these loose, and then now we kind of see where we want it because we can put it up a little higher, we can maybe move this back and adjust it so that it covers the entire window. Because right now we're really flush on this side, but we might want to put it back a little further towards the rear. So all things that to, to consider. And then of course we can bring that a little higher, which would probably be good right about there. We can add in a couple more screws here, and then we'll be able to push it down and tighten these all up. So when I initially did, I added one nut and bolt here, and one nut and bolt here. So what I'll do is, they've supplied four, four hex head nuts and four... Um, or sorry, four hex head bolts and four, four washers with four nuts. <laughs> Talk about like low profile. Now this is exactly what Pro Speed's all about. It's all about being low profile. When you look at this, pro, like how low it is with the suction cups pressed in, and then these are all tightened up. Oh man, you're in for a treat. So after we figure out where we want it in the proper location, you know, I, I like this. This could probably come up just a little higher. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten stuff down. There's another way to do this, right? Maybe like you line it all up and you tighten it up. I did everything loose. It's on there, everything's tight. Ah, except these guys. So this is an 11. All the hardware in here is an 11. And these are adjustable too. If I wanted to move the suction cup, but I put them all the way to the outside.
It's not gonna tug. Don't have to tar torque it down. Now the test is, is wind noise. Now for those of you that are wondering how I mount a shovel onto this, I bought a cheap shovel from like Ace. All right, it's a short handle one. And I had it right here. <clears throat> and I used quick fix. So it was perfect right there. But now, if I wanted to, I think I could mount it right here. I like that. And it's right where I... I like that. So if you look how I have it, it doesn't touch the back right there. So in those holes, no interference from anything. Boom. Hey, and so get a load of this. These are called Quick Fist. I'll put a link into the description to my Amazon account or Amazon affiliate account where you can pick these up. There you have it, the Pro Speed side accessory, rear side accessory plate. You know, uh, I have some plans for it. So I have a little disclaimer, Pro Speed actually gave me this side plate, rear side accessory plate for to do the review and an install. I'm also partnering up with Pro Speed to do a review and install on a fifth gen Toyota 4Runner roof rack. So stay tuned for that, I'm really excited. Probably not as excited as my wife, but nonetheless, I am pretty excited about it. Just want to say thanks for uh, watching the video. If you would, please leave me a comment and hit that like button. See you on the next one.